This is an extreme fire. The bushfire is an extreme fire. It's extreme in terms of, of the elevation and the topography, and it's also extreme in terms of uh, the fire weather. Fire weather is a mixture of temperature, relative humidity, precipitation, near-term precipitation, and wind speed. This is an extreme fire, and that is significant. But what's even more significant is that we hear about these all the time. We hear about the biggest fires in California or in Arizona, and then the next year, they're surpassed again by the biggest fires and the biggest fire season. For this particular bushfire, we can say it's redundant droughts, or this is a drought. This is an extreme, extreme heat and drought. Um, but we're having a lot of redundant droughts. And when you have redundant droughts, that, that's climate. So as we're seeing the northern hemisphere upper latitudes warm, we're seeing more of these extreme events. And this is definitely one of them. NASA provides pre-fire, active fire, and post-fire information. So we established these relationships in advance and the fire community um, in many places, they use our data and they downlink it directly. NASA also has a lot of resources that uh, address air quality and health. We're very connected as one Earth and NASA has the ability horizontally and vertically to tell this story, to pull this information together.